Zone Guy. We're answering uh, your questions on video uh, that have arrived in our inbox at www.blueairproducts.com. Today's question is about ozone lamps. So we're going to tell you how to uh, install new ones for those of you who already own a Big Blue. We're going to talk about uh, how you control them so that they uh, are doing the most effective job at uh, controlling the odor, the exhausted odor. And let's see, we're also going to tell you how long they last. So let's get on with the video, thanks. Each of the uh, big blue ozone lamps is individually switched so that I can turn on one or two or three or any combination thereof. The idea is, is that early in the growth cycle, for example, when the uh, plants are immature, I don't need all the lamps running. In other words, I'm going to end up maybe over ozonating my exhausted air. Um, and so I can control the amount of ozone that I'm putting in when I use the multiple lamp units, the 6, the 8, the 10, the 12. The, uh, the switches then can be adjusted as the plants mature and the odor increases so that I can take care of that, uh, the increase in exhausted air. The other advantage to this is each one of the uh, ozone lamps is individually ballasted. What that means is, for you, is uh, you have the security in knowing that you're never without some amount of odor control. If uh, one ballast were to fail, which is extremely rare, you'd have the other lamps to back it up. These ozone lamps, uh, if they were to be burned 24-7, uh, would uh, last you about uh, oh, 18 to 20 months. The light never goes out as long as it's got uh, power, but the, uh, the effectiveness of the uh, production of ozone is uh, not going to be sufficient to uh, take care of the odor. As, as it gets towards that 18th month, the ozone production begins to drop off um, to negligible levels, and that's the time to replace it. The plugs for the ozone lamps, bulbs, are four pin. Um, they only go on the lamp one way. As you can see, I could put it, that look, can you see that? Anyway, if I put that on there, uh, one way works fine. On the other hand, I can't put it on the other way because the holes don't line up. Uh, which way, it, uh, which way the polarity goes uh, doesn't uh, matter. We're just trying to get that lined up so it'll go on. So, looking at this unit, uh, I have taken off the pull the plugs off. Here we've got the starter lamp and we have our ballast and, uh, and power line coming in here from the switch. I take the, take the lamp out of the clips, and this one's been running for about 18 months. These are proprietary lamps. Uh, we have these designed specifically for our big blue units. Then I take the new one, which are available at your retailer, and put the plug on it. Again, lining it up so that the plug, there we go. Line that up. Be gentle. You don't want to bang it too hard against any of the internal components here and, uh, and break that lamp. And we're done. That's how easy it is. <laughs> 